so much we'll see you tomorrow morning now the african union's theme for 2018 is winning the fight against corruption a sustainable path to africa's transformation yesterday the african peer review mechanism or aprrm in collaboration with the south african institute of international affairs and the tabombeke foundation co-hosted a discussion focusing on governance issues pertinent most importantly here on the african continent this of course allowing them to engage with the au's 20 2018 theme against corruption on the continent. Joining us now are Lennon Munyai, who is a researcher at the African Peer Review Mechanism uh, Secretariat, and Buseleto Saudi, who is a youth coordinator with the Tabombeki Foundation. But first, good morning to you. Thank you so much for morning, coming through. Good morning, and morning to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, let's just look at the need for this event that took place of course yesterday we were having this conversation of, of air saying that these are the discussions that we need to have most importantly i'm impressed to see that young people you know are taking part in these discussions can ah. we start with you Puselet, or would you, yes, do you want to go first it's fine, um uh, thank you so much Sis Palesa. as you know the aprm is celebrating uh, 15 years of existence mm. it was formed in 2003 and we have our sec a continental secretariat here in Midrand. Mm -hmm. So we thought it's a good opportunity to actually engage the young people in South Africa on these issues. Yeah, yeah. And interestingly, so, Puselet, so the theme, yes. as I said on my introduction, is uh, winning the fight against corruption, which is a sustainable path to Africa's transformation, which in a way sort of suggests that with corruption, transformation will never be possible. That Talk to true. us about that. That is true, Osaka. I mean, I, I'm reminded when we have this conversation, because you mentioned just before we went on air that mm -hmm. you are inspired by young people. Yeah. Because there's often a misconception that young people are not interested in governance issues. But if you look at um, the turnout yesterday from high school students, which was perhaps the majority of the, the, the constituency at the event, to university students and other young people from the continent, you can see that we are really interested in governance issues. I'm also reminded of a conversation I had with the, the COSAS leadership, the, mm. the, the provincial and the national, a couple of weeks ago. And um, they said, well, you see, President, so we have never had a chance to, to, to engage with our elders about political issues. No one wants to talk to us about political issues. And so when I was sitting in the car with Prof. Pikian after the event yesterday, I said, Prof, what happened to, to political commissars? Mm. Because in your days, you were taught about the politics of the day, and you were listened to, and you could advise, and... and declare how you saw things. So, yes, I mean, this book on the corruption issue. So this is the report, um, the, the African peer review report yes. of 2007 about South Africa. Mm -hmm. In it, they mentioned that um, corruption is one of the least issues that we have in South Africa. Now, this is 2007, September 2007. Fast forward. So it was the least then? Then. Now Fast it's forward 2018. to 2018, or should we say back to 2016, 2017, exactly. it's at the helm of our governance exactly. here in South Africa. Exactly. Exactly. So that is worrying. Let, let's just, you know, talk a little bit about the issue of governance with you, Lennon. We do know that it is the core of the issue. And that is literally what APRM is all about, isn't it? Mm. Yes. The success of APRM. You made mention of the fact that it's been in existence for over 15 years now. Yes. Ma Has it been successful in its a quest to look at such issues? Yes, my sister. Uh, the APRM has managed to do 21 reviews. And in, in its reviews, uh, as you know, uh, it has predicted certain things. For example, it, is, uh, it predicted xenophobia in South Africa um, and electoral violence in Kenya before. Uh, so we use it now as young people. As you know, the population of Africa, in terms of young people, it's growing. Yeah. And jobs and education, they come out strongly in these reports as the biggest problems young people are facing. So we're saying young people, throughout the political divide from Cape to Cairo, should come together and actually tackle these issues. Ask their leaders, what are you doing for us? Mm. Nothing for us without us. All right. So... I believe we might see a different picture altogether in terms of education. Now with a free education for the deserving students, um, it, it might be a different picture in the future? Yes. Uh, I think in South Africa, we actually, young people have shown the rest of the continent what happens when young people come together mm. under one banner and say, we want education. Yeah. 
the fees must fall movement. The fees must what fall movement, the roads must fall movement. Mm. So young people have united, and that's what the APRM is asking young people, to actually unite and fall under one cause. All right. But most importantly, uh, Lennon, I'm just going to stay with you. We know that the APRM cannot necessarily force compliance um, it, because even participation on its own in jail is uh, voluntary, isn't it? Yes. So would you agree that compliance should be enforced since we do know that the resources that the different countries have, uh, they're not for leaders, they're not privately owned, they are for the citizens, therefore should benefit them as such? You see, when the APRM was formed, it was formed on a voluntary basis. Mm. So a country on its own assesses itself and say, this is what we are doing, good, and this is our struggles. What happens then is that there's peer learning amongst um, countries. So this is what South Africa is doing well. Look um, at the Rwandans, what are they doing well? For example, with uh, the issue of uh, young people getting jobs through uh, the forced industrial revolution, new jobs through ICT. This is what we are doing well. South Africans learn from this or where they're doing badly, instead of having a stick, as Africans, we, we're good at talking to each other. My brother, this is what we're doing, right? Yeah. Can you also learn? Mm, That's what mm, we're doing. Mm. But, Mr. Lezo, what did yes. you take out of yesterday's uh, deliberations? And where do you really think you can take this further, you know, moving forward? Yes, thank you, sir. Um, you see, the Tawambiki Foundation has the Youth Hub, which really deals with this issue of engaging the continent and galvanizing young people to join and be the leaders of this plight of African Renaissance. And to add to his point, I mean, the, His Excellency Mel Zenawi of, of Ethiopia wrote here that the APRM is not about seeing who has failed or who's doing well and so forth. Mm -hmm. It's really a group of friends, these countries and these yeah. leaders, who come together and advise each other, share ideas. If you perhaps took this law and you enforced it, you would do better in um, fighting corruption. Mm. Yesterday, the Tomovic Foundation also held the, the illicit financial flows. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So Where I, Floyd Shibam was basically blaming, you know, some the European Union for uh, tax erosion. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Do I you want to come in there? Yes. All right, let's just bring this the is what we're it. saying. We're yeah. also saying to young people, let's go deeper in our discussions yeah. and our fight against corruption. We need to. The issue of illicit financial mm. flows, 50 billion is lost every single year mm. through tax evasion, mm. uh, through underpricing of goods. And you know, former President Thabo Mbeki in 2015, when um, African states uh, could not meet uh, the, mill the Millennium uh, Development Goals, mm. they said, why aren't we meeting these global goals that we have? They found out illicit financial flows. Every year we are losing money. Mm. And mm. so, the stance of the APRM is zero tolerance on corruption. Sure. Zero tolerance on corruption. Then we're saying now, let's deepen this conversation on corruption. We need to. We need to. But I'm afraid we've run out of time. We have to leave it at that for now. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. through. Thank you so I'm much. I'm very much impressed to see young people, you know, taking it upon themselves to ensure that these conversations um, are heard here in South Africa. Thank you so much, Manabe Thank you, sir. Thanks, Thanks to Linon Munyai, who is a researcher at uh, the APRM Secretariat here in Johannesburg, and Puseleto Saudi, who is a youth coordinator with the Tabombeki Foundation, for chatting to us about African youth discussing the issue of corruption. All right, let's take a quick break here on Morning Live. There's still so much more to come. Don't go away.